Quirkily. Quirkily hilarious. Uh, I don't even know if quirkily is a word. It's not. (laughs) Don't worry about it. How you doing? You're watching Movie Phones Unscripted. I'm Chan, this is Amanda Seifert, and we're with uh, Dear John. And we're going to be asking some of your questions, and some of our own, and I'll start with the first question. Amanda, who is your favorite on-screen romantic couple of all time? You know, I think it's got to be... The reason I got into movies, Claire Danes and Leonardo DiCaprio. Sorry, it's my all-time favorite movie. I... Boss. It really inspired the hell out of me. Well, Romeo and Juliet's kind of. Oh wait, you're talking about Titanic. Sorry, I'm thinking no, of. No, Claire. You're talking about. Romeo yeah, and Juliet. All right, sorry, I was yeah. confused. Well, I mean, you know, anybody that Leonardo DiCaprio falls in love with on the screen, I'd say, is <laughs> part of his part of that couple. Boz did a great movie. It's just it's always going to be my top favorite, yeah. no matter what. Oh, okay. So Chan, if you were a soldier, do you think you could make the sacrifice of leaving your true love? I think being a a soldier is a sacrifice in itself, so that would be the first one. Um, You know, I don't know. Uh, That's that's a that's a really that's a really tough question. You know, you you'd hope that you'd be able to. You know, if you if you made the the jump to go ahead and sign up and to sacrifice, you know, possibly sacrifice your life for your country. You know, I mean, I guess the that's the next that's the next step is being able to sacrifice love and being with your family as well. Yeah, it's a tough that's a tough one. Oh. Unscripted. Uh, sorry. Okay. So, um, let's see. Favorite, dog or cat? Dog. Dog? Do you have one? Yes, I do. <laughs> yes, I just, uh, I'm a new mom to a little Aussie shepherd named Finn. Finn, great name. Yeah, thanks. Great name. Yeah, he's a little guy with a big heart. Is it a miniature Australian Shepherd? <laughs> no, normal size? he's gonna be full grown. <sighs> That's gonna be a lot of he's work. He's gonna be a fifty pounder. I know. You can, I'm not gonna be able to pick him up, but it's fine. Yeah. He's the love of my life. So, Chan, what's been your most memorable fan encounter? Um, I think there was there was a lady in, a, in an airport one time that, I mean, just I think I called her entire family. Like, oh, she, she sat down and she went through her phone. I think I called about 20 people. I, and by, like, the seventh one, I wanted to see how far it was going to go. And, <laughs> and, I, and I just kept stop. going. I was just like, anybody else? Let's do this. Let's just go through the entire phone. Wow. So, yeah. How old were you when you first fell in love? <laughs> Your first love? The first My girl first that you love were was, ever was, crazy Sarah, about. was Sarah Cook in kindergarten. I remember it. And how did you show her your love? Uh, I bought her... Um, the little, the little single LP record of, uh, of Sarah Smiles, I remember. Oh I, my I think gosh. my mom had the idea, and I think I did that. Oh, that's so cute. She's like, <laughs> our little boy's in love. <laughs> oh, wow, yeah, because you couldn't afford that. No, no, mom, mom had to take care How of it. How old were you? Her. You were five? Yeah, I started a little early. Is it harder to do a film adapted from a novel or a music how? It is harder. Harder? Harder to do a musical. And here's why. There are... That was um, my next question. Thank you for moving on. Oh. Oh, yeah. It's... Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> why? Why? Because because um, you have to sing and dance, and you have to lip sync, and you got to right. do all these crazy technical things. And the musicals are, tend to be bigger than life. Right. There's nothing too subtle going on on stage in Broadway. True. If you could buy one thing for everyone on the planet, what would it be? For everyone to own, by everyone on the planet, yeah, one everyone. thing. One thing. For one. them to have. Yeah. Oh, gosh. It would be a, a good book. What book? Some classic novel. Got it. There are a lot of them out there. Maybe, maybe like a, just a good J.D. Salinger book. Isn't that crazy? If I had more time to think, I'd give a better answer, but... <laughs> If you could star in any musical with any singer, who would it be? Oh my gosh, any musical? All right. It, okay, this is really this sounds really stupid, but uh, Les Mis was my favorite musical, and I, I know a lot of actresses will say that because it's it's so emotional. Les Mis, and I would do it with. Um, it's so funny because I gotta say, like Ray LaMontagne is my favorite singer, but he would not be good as Marius. Josh Groban. Okay, got it. 
Josh Groban would be, oh, that would be great. Oh, I'd love to start on a musical with Josh Groban. Am Fantastic. I? Fantastic. Is that silly? No. Okay, Chan, describe Amanda in three words. Is this me? <laughs> describe me in three words. <laughs> oh, I know what you're going to say. <laughs> I'm going to hyphen. Uh, amazingly talented. Um, oh. Uh, quirkily hilarious. <laughs> God, you're using six words. And I'll just say smelly belly. Thank you. <laughs> we won't say. Nobody needs to know anything more. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, thanks, Chan. Thanks to Movie Phone and uh, to you for watching and sending in your questions. Um, and please check out our film, Dear, Dear John. Dear John, please go see it. Dear John. Beautiful film. My bladder was going to. So, you know, just pee. If you pee, I, like, I wouldn't say anything. I wouldn't say anything. We just kept doing the interview. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>